Yes, I'm guessing it's separate, separate paths. Not only that, but it appears that every remaining level has one exit. This is the secret of Patrika. Patrika means no way out. Rumor has it that a hidden temple is guarded by a spirit named Ryson. Okay. Where should I find this spirit then? Probably roaming around somewhere. Probably roaming around in its own little abode. It could be. I'll take this mushroom. A little bit of extra health will always help. Will definitely help. I guess when I find another question mark block... Or I can find the halfway point and recover myself completely. There's another mushroom. Never know how sometimes an extra mushroom appears when I never got one before. It's always kind of funny. It's like... Yes, it's like a way to give, give yourself 40 HP per mushroom instead of 20. It's an odd glitch. An odd goof up, I suppose. But... When you're doing with save states, I guess... Not many, not many people will complain when you want people to do it with save states, or expect them to do it. <laughs> this is where we enter it slowly, the Nitrous Desert. Okay, now what? Info box. There are nitro crates. If you touch them, it will blow up. All sprites near will blow up too. Do not touch. Okay. Um, very well. By all sprites, does it mean mushrooms? The Koopa just walked, touched it, and turned around. Nothing happened. So I guess it means just scorpion, hunter, maybe a mushroom. No, apparently not a mushroom that's slowly heading down. Not that one, at least. Well, trouble again. Just gotta run away from our troubles in this case. Before they blow up on us. Never a good moral, is it? Huh. Looks like the pipes crack a little bit. By the way. Huh, something funny. Why did one of those turn into a bob bomb? Oh, we got a vine here. Yoshi coin. Fly over the level if I want. At least no secrets to think of. So, I guess we're good with that. Moving on. Ooh, flashy! Why flashy? That was nice. Heated underground. Well, in a desert, I shouldn't be surprised that it's going to be heated. I was expecting some type of lava, though, but... Thankfully, it doesn't seem to be there for now. Oop! <laughs> yes. I get the bob -omb to blow up so that the nitro blows up. These are blue pincers. These are very weak and worn-out pincers, which means something strong can smash them. Yes, I get it. Okay. And yet, getting near them without smashing them will hurt you. So yeah, those are very weak. Up we go, I guess. Invisible coin blocks to help us get up there. And I guess we could find some lava. Yep, there's some lava. Not to mention, though, that this lava does not slowly drain your health, as it seems. There gonna be any quicksand nearby? Is there? I wouldn't know. But I see that one of those spiked or spinies, whatever it was, just fell through a nitro. Explosion blows all the rest of them up. That worked. 
So what do we have in here? Two halfway points. Two halfway points. Let's run. Crystal and lava. Together at last. Yeah, plummet like a rock. Into the rock. How appropriate. Do this. That works. Hmm. That works too. And that. We're fine. We're fine. Thank you! Giving us a vine so I could get my 40. But it's such such a big shame that it wasn't a 50. Was it? Okay, there's the Patrika Fortress. With that very music that we just heard before. Hm. Yep. Probably one of my favorite tracks in the in the hacks so far. Already. Yes. Some type of mystery to it. Whatever the feeling is. I don't know why, but it got something right. Now to slowly walk under. What? So... That spirit... I guess that spirit does not really like water at all. So that's why it considered itself to die. Maybe. But then again, don't spirits need their water too? Holy water, maybe? Unless they're evil spirits, in which case, I don't know what kind of water they would drink. Hmm. Okay. So many spikes, so many spikes. Wait again. Okay. Somehow to not get hit by the side of that spike. Okay. Space, space. Again with a final frontier of ours that we all know and cherish so much. Spin jumps too. Not nearly as cherished, but valuable to us. Okay, wow. Yeah, ow. Up you go, and down I go. Scorpion him, yeah. Scorpion the machine would be proud. Okay. Balls and chains again. Sheesh! Such timing for that. You need to be pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Once that one to the center, you can stand, stand and crouch. Not so lucky with the other ones. So many lights. So many lights. Okay. Man. I'd find it interesting to see where Hunter ventures to, get, to try and defeat Scorpion here. Oop, I performed a coin glitch. Yes. Oop. Two Hammer Brothers. Millions of invisible coin blocks. One passion. One down, one to go. One more passion. By Patrika. Okay, so now to the dried up pincer road. Troubling pincers, aren't they? Those don't look dried up to me. 
Guess I gotta find a silver pea somewhere. Or maybe it's going to be a feather. No, it's going to be a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, maybe not the smartest save, but that will have to do. Okay, we'll wait. Now let's run again. As quickly as necessary. Okay, and again. More running. Invisible coin block. Did you really need that many? Isn't that a little bit abusive? Yes, I consider that to be slightly abusive. So let's try this again. With a little more paranoia in us. Knock that one alone, and just that one. Oop, star, again. Good. And yet another star. Now when I suspect it's not being generous enough, it may be too generous. And then when I start suspecting that it's too generous, it probably won't be... Never mind, the level's over. Eh. False senses of security get me every time. Opening up another path. Drink away. Yes, way to go. Bats floating in midair. Floating in midair. Okay. What are there, invisible trees up there? Yes. Maybe that is a mystic power of Patrika. It could be. Giving the bats absolute power to, to be able to walk on nothing. Or fly on nothing. Even though... Even though that type of power is not necessary, because when they're flying, all they run into is air anyway. Unless they consider air to be a thing. I hope they don't. Because then... One more for the living. But still, one plus for the dead for being able to walk on air.